Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and good morning. I am so excited this morning. One, because we are sharing a Happy Mail video on the channel today. And Happy Mail just makes me happy, so I'm happy. And two, because it's a very quiet morning. And three, because I went to get coffee this morning. This is from Royal Farms. I've mentioned it in a video before, I think. Um, if you live in the Mid-Atlantic and there's a Royal Farms in your area, you need to download the Royal Farms app so you can get free coffee. Actually, I wish I had my phone out here with me because I'd show you all the different little prizes you can get. This is not sponsored in any way. I am a small channel. There's no reason for Royal Farms to sponsor me, but um, I'm just saying, free coffee. All you do is play a little match game, a little card match game, and you get points. And I haven't paid for coffee since being here at my mom's house, like, at all, unless we are out and about. Because there's a Royal Farms around the corner, and I have the app, and I'm not paying for it. So anyway, back to this coffee. I'm so excited because there was pumpkin spice creamer out. <laughs> now usually I am an almond milk or coconut milk kind of person. The only thing they have out at Royal Farms most of the time in that realm of non-dairy milks is soy milk. And I do not like soy milk at all. I hate it. So I always get just the regular creamer stuff. But there was pumpkin spice and I had to like really hold back happy dancing in the store in front of the two other like people getting coffee which were both old men and they probably would have looked at me like I was crazy but I was very excited about this I'm like pumpkin spice all year round that's that's my thing I love it so obsessed so I have a ton of happy mail to go through like it's one hell of a stack I don't know if you could see that without like showing addresses and stuff but one hell of a stack, and I've decided the order in which I'm going to go through this Happy Mail is by size of envelopes. We're starting with the smallest envelopes. This one, it just says Johnson, and it's got this lovely Maya Angelou stamp. So let's open this bugger up. I have not done a happy or filmed a Happy Mail video in forever. My channel has been so stagnant. I feel like my channel's gonna like sprout mosquitoes. It's like stagnant. And <laughs> it, it's depressing, but with everything I have going on right now, I'd rather it just be stagnant than to bring you guys really shitty videos. Not that these ones are really good quality anyway. So here is the card. Super cute. Oh, and she sent me some stickers. Very sweet. Aww. And this is from Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Oh my god, I love... I'm, I used to hate this kind of hydrate sticker, but they're honestly growing on me. I think they're really cute. Look at all this fun stuff. Oh, shopping bag stickers I love. So thank you so much, Leslie. And I want to keep all this together so I know who, what came from who. Super cute. And I actually, I still have a pile of like letters I need to write back to so many people. But, um, one thing at a time, baby step. So this one is from Hannah. I love Happy Mail from Hannah. Creativity takes courage. It's so cute. I love it already. So let's see, we've got one of these cute Target cards. I love this shade of yellow. It makes me very happy. Oh, and she's sent me a whole bunch of fun stickers, too. Aww so sweet. So look at all these fun stickers. I love these little bits and bobs. I have to film a video on what I'm doing with my little various colored bits and bobs because I have got a really, well, I think it's great. It's great for how I like to do storage um, system for how I'm storing all these bits and bobs now. And I love it. I love it. Oh, I love this date night one. Oh, I dropped it. It's really cute. Okay, so we've got all these fun stickers, but let's talk about this washi. Oh my god. And it's metallic. Can you see that? I love it. This might be my new obsession. I love this washi. I've been really good about not buying planner supplies since we've moved down with my mom. I don't think, I think I've only bought one set of stickers. I've only bought one roll of washi, and that was actually just yesterday. We were at Target, and I saw a roll of donut washi, and I'm like, how can I not buy this? 
how can I not buy this? Ooh, I dropped a sticker. How can I pick this up without needing to do 40 hours of yoga? Okay, there we go. So cute. Thank you, Hannah. I can't wait to write back to you. So, update on the house hunt. Uh... I filmed two videos, never got around to editing them, so you'll see two videos before this one. I might have given a house update in them, but if they come up very close to each other, just know this is a week away from when I filmed um, the August plan with me and then um, the Rewind plan with me. So we have looked at several houses, and we have another letter from Hannah I'm opening right now. We've looked at several houses yesterday. Not yesterday, two days ago. I'm filming on a Sunday. Sunday the 28th, I think, right now. And the 26th, so Friday, we looked at, I don't know, six or seven houses in a row. And, sorry, I had to get sip coffee. Only one of them really stood out to us. And it needed work. It definitely needed work. But the layout and the space it has, you could turn it into a lot. And it's got a really great yard. So... That one we're keeping an eye on. I finally convinced Austin that we should look at a few things here in the city, which I'm so excited that he's like agreed to at least look at them, because I would much rather be in the city personally. I love the idea of having a huge yard and space to garden and stuff, but I am a city girl at heart. I just am. I really am. So I've pulled up a few houses together that I want to look at. And then I've also convinced him to look in a neighborhood he was doubting. Um, kind of closer to the area we were looking at before, anyway. So we're going to look at a few houses in that area. The area is notoriously hit or miss as being either dangerous or safe. And we don't know the area, so we don't know which neighborhoods in that area are good to go and which are not. So. He was a little nervous to look there, but I convinced him. I'm like, let's just go and look. So I'm excited about that, too. We're going to be looking at a lot of houses in this upcoming week. I have chatted and gone on about nothing, haven't I? So here's another letter from Hannah, and it's a really cute metallic target card. Really cute. And it's literally just got stickers in it. Hannah, you are spoiling me. You're so sweet. This is what I'm excited about. All these little floral boxes. I've got ideas for these, actually, now that I'm seeing them. They're so cute. So cute. Hannah, thank you. You are freaking a doll. I love you. And then we have a card from Amanda Lee. My girl in Montana. It's a really cute pink envelope. So I have a feeling there's a really cute card inside. Oh, there is. I love that card. It's so cute. Another aside real quick before we get into this card. Me and Austin were out doing just some shopping and browsing yesterday. Marshalls has the cutest boxes of thank you cards and they're usually $3.99 for 16 cards which compared to if you bought a box of thank you cards at Target in their little stationery section you get 10 for $3.99. So just throwing that out there is like a little hack or a tip or whatever. If you need a box of thank you cards just very general for I don't know someone at work or a project or something I would definitely recommend going to Marshalls. So let's see what's in this card. Oh, she wrote me a huge note because I had a thousand questions for her um, last time I wrote to her. And I can't wait to read that and write back to you because I was really interested in what you're doing. So this weekend banner, look at that. It's so cute. I love these square cakes. Oh my gosh, look at all of these. Joey sends me the sweetest little quote. Follow your heart, never get up. Oh, I love these. Thank you, and I cannot wait to read this and write back to you because I was really interested in your pageants. Then we have a letter from Guadalupe. Look at the cute little rainbow sticker on the back. It's so precious. Oh my gosh. Let's break on into this one. Oh, I ripped the rainbow. Dang it. Okay. <gasps> Are these flamingos? Oh my god. <gasps> Guadalupe, did you make this card? This is so cool. Look at this, guys. 
it's got glitter tape and then metallic, gold metallic Amanda on top of flamingos. That is so cute. And here's the thing. If you Google Hamden, Baltimore, Maryland, which is where I'm from, you'll know that we're known for having a restaurant here that has literally a three-story giant flamingo art piece in front of it. So flamingos are the thing around here. So that, I just... Flamingos always remind me of home, even though I'm not, like, from Florida or anything. Oh, my God. And, as usual, she has spoiled me. Let's see if I could do this without, like, exposing all the contents of her later letter. Because I don't know if it's anything private. With all these sticky notes. Girl, you hooked me up with the stickies. I love these penguins. Oh, my God. And the baby penguins. So cute. So love that and I can't wait to write back to you and see what you've been up to. I feel like, I almost feel like I'm out of touch with all my friends, you know, when I don't write back to you guys often. But it is a huge triangle to leave work and go to my P.O. box and then come back to my parents' house. So I'm going to be excited when the P.O. box is up and I can move it to the area we're probably going to move to. But it is a lot of work getting over there. And I'm just so happy every time I get over there. And there's all this love from you guys. So this letter is from Deb. This is really pretty washi. Actually, this doesn't feel like washi. This feels like um that Scotch brand that's kind of like washi but feels a little plasticky. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Bust on into here. Okay. Oh my god, look at this. It looks like a circus. It is a circus. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm in such a good mood today, guys. <laughs> this is a really, really cute card. And there's a whole bunch of fun stuff in here. I don't want to like show what she wrote to me in case it's private. But let's look at this. <gasps> she sent me a fall and winter bucket list. You guys. This is so cool. It is from Planner Design Panamonium, and I always hear Bonnie talking about this brand. And actually, um, the girl that sits next to me at work, she I think she gets the Design Panamonium subscription. Oh my god. I have to put this sticker down now. Actually, no, because I'm using pumpkin spice creamer. I need to get a proper pumpkin spice latte before I can use that sticker. This is so cool. I love, well, I love fall to-dos. They're like my jam. Maybe we'll have a house where I can actually break up leaves at some point. Maybe. Oh my god, look at all these. This is so cool. Oh my god, she sent a spring and summer one too. This is precious. Thank you so much. I love this. And then we've just got some other one-off stickers. Really cute. Some Libby and Co. headers and stuff. <gasps> Adorable. Thank you, Deb. And I can't wait to read your card. I'm so excited for those bucket list stickers. They're so fun. And this one, I already sort of busted open because the envelope was so pretty. It's like a homemade envelope. And the card that came in the envelope was no disappointment whatsoever. This is gorgeous. Are you kidding me? And they put the, like the hellos sideways. I would have never thought of that. Like, my brain wouldn't have thought. Put it sideways. It's still just as cute. It is. It's so cute. So this is an amazing card from... On Instagram, she is simply creative today. And I, I know I'm not going to pronounce her. <laughs> Her, her name right Zoma maybe Zoma this is gorgeous I love this I want to like hang it somewhere so cute can't wait to take a look at that further and then the next mail is from oh hello stationary co I have joined um I don't know what exactly it's called their PR team something like that and it's so cool. I love Oh Hello Stationery Co. stickers to begin with because I like that 
everything they do is unique since, I mean, you guys watch their channel, I'm sure. You've seen Alex do the um, videos where he walks you through how he designs things. They're so fascinating. And I am so excited to see what's in this. I ripped it open, but I looked at it like a week or so ago, only briefly, because then I had to run right out the door, so I don't exactly remember. I know it's fall themed, though. And I'm so excited to look at this. Their mailings are just, ugh. They're so good. And this is like one reason I am hesitant to ever even venture into the sticker world because there's so many people doing it right. I wouldn't even want to like venture in there unless I could do it 100% right too. And this is just, oh, so good. So there is a little card. Cute little cacti. I think this is an Aaron Condren card. Yeah, I love this card. It's so cute. And just a little note. This is our Autumn Woods Kit. Hit. So, thank you, Kayla, for sending this. And I can't wait to look at it. Look at all the critters. Oh my god, I'm such a fan of critters. That fox with the bow tie. Can you stop? Oh my god. Look at that. I wonder what day is the first day of fall or autumn or whatever. Because this would be a fun one to use. Unless it's actually going to be balls hot here in Baltimore. Because sometimes it does stay balls hot into fall. But this is so cute. <gasps> the designs are just precious. Good variety in the kit as always. I love how they've started including um, eight, or I guess you only need seven, but there's eight, which is awesome, of each of the headers. And you can see there's today to do odds and ends. These full boxes are killing me. I love the pumpkins with the little curly cues at their hats. The critters. Your little things. And then this really fun sheet. So you you can meal plan um, either way. You can use these ones or you can use the dinner time stickers if you're more into icons. I like that. Your weekend banner. I like this exclamation points included for important things. This is really cute. I'm digging this sheet. So, that is what I got from Oh Holy Stationery Co. And you will definitely 100% see this in a future plan with me. I can't wait. It's so cute. Not that I want to rush summer along. I absolutely do not want to rush summer along. But I do love fall. I feel like fall clothes fit me better. Fall tastes are more delicious. And, oh, I just I love fall. So... That's everything from Oh Hello. The next package I've already busted into and actually used some things from. It's from Bonnie. She always puts those cute little stickers on her packages. They're adorable. And, oh, is there something else? Oh, yeah, the card. So let me see if there's anything in here I need to mention to you guys. It's such a cute little card. Oh, I love Bonnie. She is really cool. I can't wait to meet her at PlannerCon in March. It's going to be so fun. And actually, my friend who we're staying with at PlannerCon in March just got engaged. So now we're planning her wedding. I get to go back in September and be in the wedding. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to just be freaking awesome. So one thing you're not going to see in the stack is the August monthly kit. I already filmed a video on that just to kind of show you what Bonnie's monthly kits consist of. So you'll see that before this one. And then a few things I've already used. I asked her to make me a bagel sheet. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little off. I'm going to rise, rise this up to the camera. She has a donuts and bagel sheet, but I asked if she could just make me a bagel one because I love bagels and it's so hard to find bagel stickers. Then I've already used a couple of house stickers. And I've already used a Pokemon Go sticker too. I love these. I'm obsessed with Pokemon Go. Oh, and I've already used a pool time sticker as well. Those are really cute and they're a really good size. So the other stickers she has sent, spa day stickers, me time, crafts, wine time, then this sheet is really cool. I definitely recommend you all go check out this sheet. I think it is really interesting. This is her, like, 
I don't know, decluttering sheet, I think it's called. And it's got all these areas of your house where you should be decluttering and cleaning up and going through at least once a year. So it's really cool. So like holiday stuff, under the bed, like phone numbers and addresses, things you probably don't even think about. It's really, really good. Planner Con Countdown, which I'm excited. We actually need to start looking into flights to see what the prices will be on those. Swimming stickers. And then she's got this little fairy kit too that she sent. And she's reformatted slightly. Very cute. I love the pull in of the purples. And that's everything from Bonnie. Absolutely so cute. You you can tell I love them because I've already dug into them. <laughs> really good stuff. Thank you for sending Bonnie and I hope you are doing well. Then we have a package from Fancy Planner based in California. Let's open this one up. Let's see what we got going here. Alright so there's a card. Oh I almost threw the card across the porch. Let's not do that. Look at the cute little macarons. Adorable. Oh, she's created a code. 10% code. Fancy 10. Cool. And her name is Rhonda. Love the name Rhonda. Rhonda. It's just fun to say. So here are the stickers she has sent. Let's open them up. Alright, so this one is a sampler sheet. I like the Planner Nerd sticker. This is on matte paper, and the print quality is pretty darn good. We've got little roads and cars. I love these little strips of road. Some vacuum cleaners. Shopping bags. Oh, these are interesting. Fun flags. I guess you could put these on other things, not just in your planner. So done, maybe, today, yes, no, love, that's cool. I'm going to have to go on her shop and see how she uses these because these are very interesting. And then a whole bunch of the retro TVs. I love these. They're really cute. The orange and green ones, I'm loving right now. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for sending these along. They're really, really nice. Like, if you are into just very traditional matte paper, I think these stickers are very nice quality. Print quality is pretty good. And then we have one last package. I know, longest video ever, right? Can't believe my battery's still going. Knock on TV dinner tray <laughs> that I'm filming on. So this is from my and a little happy mail to brighten up your day. That's super cute. Bust it open. This is sealed really well. Oh my gosh. This is kind of hard to open. But that's a good thing. You don't want people getting in your mail. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so I want to show you guys this really cute sticker she seals the packages with. Handmade with love. Thank you for your order. Stationary Heaven. Really cute. And it's in just some soft tissue paper. Let's try and seal that up nicely. Oh, this is packaged so nicely. So it's in a cellophane baggie. And then inside of the cellophane baggie... It's in cardstock. Trifolded. No, not trifolded. There's two pieces. So nice. Like, that is such attention to detail. It's amazing. And then there's this beautiful card she sent. It looks like this is a sampler. That's so cute. And then another sampler, I guess. These are really freaking cute. Oh my god. Adorable. Here's some stickers. I love the tabs on this little card. This 
is so cute. Thank you, Mari. I'm like in love. All right, so let me move my chair a little so I can show these better. First sheet we have here are these little penguins. They're so cute. And it looks like they've got all kinds of different emotions and sayings. Then we've got a gym bag, which I need to get my butt back to. Fit nothing. A sleepy bear, which is cute because I am a sleepy bear. Then we've got like this busy bear. Look at all the stuff on her desk. And little cleaning bears. Little workout girls. I like the junk food girl. You guys know I do. So cute. And let's see, I'll open that in a second. Let's see what else we have outside. Some glitter flags. These are all on uh, nice quality matte paper, by the way. And glitter headers. And then we have another little baggie here. Thank you, Amanda. Many kawaii handbag grab bags. So cute. Ooh, it's getting hot out, guys. So let's take a look see at these. We have lazy day piggies with bows on their heads. Curly cute arrows. Little planner to do type things. So more washi, buy more stickers, place order. Happy mail arrived and a planner. Some really cute birthday stickers. Oh, I love those. Little plate, fork, and knife stickers. Social media stickers. Banners. Chain sheet stickers. That's so cute. These little framed four heart check boxes. Really cute. We have these little online shopping stickers. They're so cute. Movie stickers. Dollars. Page flags. Oh my god, they're so cute. And these ones have little bears on them. Little turtle planner stickers. They're so cute. Oh my god. Glasses. Scalloped heart checklists. Column heart checklists with vines. They're different. I've never seen those. Little bear emojis. Photo stickers and cameras. Money jars. They're like for savings. Shopping carts. Little shopping girls with all kinds of different hair colors. They're so cute. That one's got like half blonde, half pink. That's really cute. Time to organize turtles. Oh my god, I love the turtles. Appointment stickers, so I guess you put what your appointment is and then how long it lasts from and to. Little pig out stickers. These are so cute. Oh my god. Nap time stickers. No spend stickers. This is my life right now. <laughs> Netflix stickers, which me and Austin are about to do lots of Netflixing because Walking Dead is going to be on Netflix September 16th, I think. Last season is, and we missed like half the season, so we're going to catch up. Then little planner stickers and Happy Mail stickers. Really cute. So that is actually everything I have to share with you guys that I have received in my P.O. box. So I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope it was interesting. I kept you entertained at least. And I don't know, I was just in a really good mood this morning. I was so excited to film this. The lighting's getting a little strange, but that's all right. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling back in the game, guys. I'm, I'm hoping we have a house soon so I can film all this super exciting other things I've been wanting to share with you guys. Oh my god, a big old cicada. Okay, just landed somewhere. Stop flapping around. Thank goodness. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. I would be happy to have you here with me. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.